He has spent 16 years on Texas death row, dodged execution twice, but tomorrow, John Battaglia, the Dallas man who shot and killed his daughters while on the phone with his ex-wife, will die by lethal injection. Uh, Rebecca Lopez has covered this case since the night of the murders back in 2001. She'll be there tomorrow to witness the execution. Six-year-old Liberty and nine-year-old Faith were visiting their father, John Battaglia, in his deep Ellum apartment when the unthinkable happened. The little girls were on the phone with their mother, Mary Jean Pearl, when Battaglia shot them. She described the horror at his trial a year after the murders. And then I hear Faith going, no, Daddy, please, Daddy, don't do it. Daddy, please don't do it. Pew, pew. And I hear him yell, Merry Christmas. Hours later, Battaglia was arrested outside a tattoo parlor where he had two roses, one for each girl, tattooed on his arm. Battaglia had a history of domestic violence in his marriage with Mary Jean Pearl and also in his first marriage. Despite his history, he was allowed unsupervised visits with his daughters. In a lot of cases, it was never brought up that there had been domestic violence in that relationship that was dissolving or that there had been some danger to the child. Lawmakers outraged over the deaths changed laws, making it mandatory for judges to ask if there is a history of domestic violence and at the family place. Faith and Liberty's place was built. It's a place where parents can have safe, supervised visits. As for Battaglia, in an interview with News 8, two years ago, he blamed everyone but himself for the murders, calling prosecutors and judges demons. What would you say to people who say that you're the one that was the demon because you that, killed that, two little and, innocent and girls? I, I, I can understand it. As long as the media gets to, gets to have only their say. Battaglia will finally pay for his crimes and die by lethal injection Thursday. Faith and liberty will live on between these walls at the family place where children are safe. Rebecca Lopez, Channel 8 News.